So hey, French accent, do you like uh, collecting stuff? No. Well, it sucks to be you then. Because uh, we're doing this, ah. You tricked me into this. <laughs> Surely I did. Surely you did. Was this the reason why we kept delaying? Not really, actually. It's just stuff coming up. In between. So hey, here's a new golden frog. It's the last one. Actually, not really. You. It's not really the last frog. Oh. Well, that's a weird W. Yeah, it's kind of like... I don't know. Right, are those spikes? Re re reverse mountains? Uh, or spikes, I guess? I don't know. Uh, the WordPress logo? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, oh, crackos. Yeah, this video has lots of boring collection stuff, which does have to happen sometimes. So, yeah. Reminder that you're a pirate searching for treasures deep in the sea. Because every treasure is neatly stored in a metal box, right? At least it doesn't get destroyed. <laughs> yeah. As long as the bombs don't explode on it, I guess. Yeah. Who even puts mines, that many mines underwater anyway? Like, what kind of silly pirates are you if you uh, do that, you know? So you got the shitty chimney. That's fine. Yep. Oh, yep. there she is again. Again. Hey, you know, um, we're really tired of uh, holding all your swords. Can you please <laughs> get them? Thank Damn you. It. Damn it, I was about to make a sword joke. Oh, just, just please pick him up. We're tired of this. We're tired of your shit. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And she's gone. Yeah, see ya. All right. Okay, Moving on. Um, let's check out Beetle's ship. Do you have a lot of good things? Uh, I don't think he does. Mind you, it's been a while since I recorded this, so. Nope, nothing. Oh, there are some elixirs. Yeah, but I'm full on potions. And some coral. Like, like I've been full on potions for a whole bunch of videos now, and I never really end up using them. Well, you never know. At least I don't think I use them, I'm not entirely sure. So are you ever going to spend that much money? 2,300 rupees, almost 2,400. Yes, actually. I still need like 2,000 more. Oh my. So, yeah. You're trying to win the lottery or something? Nah. It's something else, something more important. Is it a piece of heart? Maybe. Guess we'll see. It's a bunch of upgrades anyway. Hey, new cannon, yay. Uh, how does the cannon get in there? Like, how will, uh, how did it get in the chest? Well, the cannon, cannon I have right now also is hidden, right? I mean, that's probably the same same way, for the same reason. Like, is this some sort of miniature magic shit? Why do you keep questioning video game logic? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I just like realism this much. Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure to put a brown filter on the next one, then. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I mean, that's gonna make it uh, more realistic, right? You always put, um... Sorry, you already did put the brown filters on those update posts. Yes, no, no, the videos and everything will be brown filtered. Or futuristic, I mean. Futuristic. The future is brown, not pink. <laughs> also not white. Not white at all. Sadly. Oh hey, I already have these, so I'll sell these uh, at some point. Wait, you can have du ugh, you can have duplicates. Yes, and you can also sell them. So that's nice. More sharks. Yep. Oh no! And I got hit. Oh no! I don't really care. Are you proud of yourself, kid? I just read like on the top left. <laughs> Sadly, I'm still out of pirate songs, so... 
Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, is it sadly or thankfully? Thankfully, I guess? Uh, it depends. It's probably, uh, thankfully. I mean, uh, I mean, how good is your singing voice? Um, pretty bad. Okay, then it's thankfully. Sometimes they call me Screechy Joe. <laughs> That doesn't look like a mermaid. Sort of? It's like... Oh, I didn't notice the bottom part. I'm stupid. Yeah. It's like a really... Um... Deformed mermaid. Well, it had to fit. Or at least like... Fit the ship, I guess. I guess. Oh god. Sort of. Jump default dissolve, I guess. Right. Land ho! Oh my! Yay! So now that we've got the grappling hook, this means we also have a whole bunch of um, stuff we can collect. And there's also some mail, like right here. Oh, it's those guys from the Eskimo land of ice. Yes. He gives us something nice. Yay! More wisdom gems, yeah! Can't wait for those to be finished. Yeah. Goodbye, Sir Icarus. <laughs> I'll just call him Icarus. So hey, look what's inside this shop. A bunch of bomb shoes. Yes. This is one of the things you can spend your money on. The inflation is goddamn high in this game. Did you just... Huh. What? Never mind. D did I just what? I must uh, know. Never mind. Okay. So hey, if you enter the shop again, so you'll restock and... Ooh. Ah, uh, that's not enough. Yep. So I, so I guess you really do have to spend those rupees. Yep. And also that, that there's, like, even more. But how? How what? How are you gonna get more rupees? Are you gonna do that mini uh, game again? Or are you banned? No, I'll just... Uh, <laughs> I'll just, um... Sell the duplicate stuff I have. Ah. Right. So... You may not have noticed this before, but uh, yeah, you can actually grab onto that that single rock that's standing there for another courage gem. I bet it's been painted like it resembles a rock, but it's actually wood. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, assuming you can't really grapple into a rock that's been chipped to hell. Well, how do you even grapple to, to wood, then? Like in the first you place. Just make a dent. You make a <laughs> dent. That's it. You can grapple with it. Oh. That makes sense, right? I guess. I don't know. Probably so. So hey, more salvaging. Yay. Yay. Everyone knows oh, this, right? Yay. <laughs> Let's have a song in there. A song and dance. Oh no. You better repair that. Yeah. <laughs> so what happens if it reaches zero? When it reaches zero, you um, well, you can't tell it anymore, and you you have to get it repaired. And because it's entirely broken, you have to uh, spend more money than usual. So, yeah. yeah, it's a sad story for those who get their stuff broken. Yep, but screw that. I'll just dig up the next one as well. I'm assuming it costs a lot. Maybe like two hundred rupees. Something like that? I'm not really sure. Um, I never really, like, get it to the point where it breaks. He says as uh, he, he goes into another one with one HP, but yeah. I'm just expecting this to break in this nah, video. It won't. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. One day. It'll be all exciting, like, ooh, he broke it! Now we get to see another function. Oh, that's another one. Yep. I do kind of like that cannon, actually. It looks nice.
So where are we going now? We're going to get our shit repaired. Oh, you can repair it even if it's not completely broken. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. It's you get the option to do so every time you um, or visit the ship parts guy. So hey, that's where we're going. <laughs> that's like. That's uh, one of the places we couldn't visit uh, previously. It's mostly just courage, uh, well, gems in general, so. Okay, maybe they aren't painted and they're actually rocks you can gravel on. Eh, I just don't question it. <laughs> or try not I to. I have to question everything. It might get annoying, actually. I should stop that. Eh. 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 <laughs> Onwards. So Reminded hey. that. Oh. There's a fish. Ooh. Oh, there's a fish. Whoa. Whoa. Is that a whale? No. No, it's a fishing mini game. Everyone loves mini games. Just like the selfishing one. Except, actually, I, I like this one more. Or better, I guess. Even though it's kind of like dull looking. Don't let go. I've never actually been able to figure out what happens when you uh, like don't let go. Because even if I continue pulling, it nothing really happens. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Imagine if fishing was this exciting in real life. Like seven yards, six yards, let's go! <laughs> fifth, uh, fifth yards, yeah. <laughs> I imagine like you're a team of like four people. There's one that's fishing, another one that's probably holding the guy that's fishing, and the and two others is just yelling at you. <laughs> like five yards! <coughs> go, let go, let go! <laughs> Street sports. And then left. afterwards, it's like congratulations, you got a tuna. Because yeah, that's tuna. how that's. Uh, they spell tuna, like T O O. N A. Sounds like a way to spell a tuna fish, but as a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. That was dumb. So hey, that's like three salvages, salvaging mini game thingies with like one HP. You're living in the edge. Yeah. I've got plenty of money anyway. I mean, come on. Oh, you still, uh, you still need more. I know, but if I just sell my shit, then uh, I'll have plenty in prefer or reserve. Oh, well, if you say so. More fishing. More fishing. Nice job, Link. You got a tuna. <laughs> I can already imagine Limebeck just saying that. <laughs> Good job, Squirt. <laughs> got one of them tunas, huh? How about we cook it for dinner? And then they did. The end. Oh, I can't say the end. Maybe they'll just like crave for more and get some more tunas. <laughs> well, we already caught like five total or something at this point. Something like that. Maybe get some of that seagull with that. Oh. This is uh, an extra, maybe a dessert. Unfortunately, also new ship. Uh, unfortunately, seagulls are uh, like sentient beings that, that don't die in this game, so. <laughs> Even when bombs are thrown at them. Yep. They're completely fine, they just shrug it off. It's like rocks. Hey, do you like our like stone-themed ship? Too mossy. <laughs> well, do with it anyway, because uh, it's uh, better. It's better than the uh, devilish ship. We're gonna stick with this one for a while. All right. I will not complain. As I dramatically pan uh, past my ship a million times. Check out my brand new wide! Yeah. Did I say wide? 
I think he did. Oh my. <laughs> I should work on my pronunciation. Whatever. I should work on that as well because uh, you kind of have like the Dutch accents going through there. Or I do. All those foreign accents. Oh. You gotta be careful with those. Anyways, about the boats, I'm expecting some sort of fashion contest or some. <laughs> <laughs> like, pimp my boat contest. If only. If only. That's one of these guys, again. Eh, uh, nah, screw him. I'm gonna see ya. <laughs> Waste of time. I, I, I've got stuff to collect, and it's not your 20 rupees that, that you drop when you die. I could do more by just salvaging treasure. You actually don't get any money from salvaging, not directly anyway. Well, you do. It has a value in it. Oh yeah. So hey, here's a slightly trickier uh, collection thingy, because you can't do this. Instead, you pull this towards the stone here. And, what? Yeah. And then you uh, remember that you have to use the chicken. What? Like so. Um. <laughs> my god. I would have just ignored the chicken, but okay. This better be good. Well, it's, it's another thing to um, tell, but. Yay! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Goodbye, chicken! <laughs> oh, oh hey, that's a big one. Here's some money. <laughs> I'm still traumatized by that chicken just drowning. <laughs> by the way, if you haven't noticed yet, I sold some stuff um, while I was changing around my ship, so now I have enough money for the heart container. Yay! Uh, so much money. <laughs> for so, another heart. So that's. Um, Another two hot containers extra in this video, plus uh, a bump to back upgrade. That's enough for a collection video, right? Nope. Ah, uh, gotta collect some more shit. Oh. There's actually quite a lot you can get on Molida Island. Like once you get the grappling hook. Uh, at least it makes the game a little bit more enjoyable. Like, it's not all lin uh, linear. Sorry. Mm. Just title this video, Pronunciation Problems. <laughs> I could really do without the collectible uh, thingies, like um, like the treasure maps. I, I could really do without those. Well, it's always about ship parts, so... Yeah. It's not really that necessary. It's just for shows. Well, actually, there is an advantage in, like, collecting ship parts, or sets of ship parts. If you um, equip an entire set of, uh, well, one kind, I guess, you get extra health. With That's the, um, Usually you get, like, five or six hearts, but there's one special set that gives you seven, which I'll show off later. One free hit? I think that's a uh, godsend right there. I know, right? Very, very useful. Sorry. Well, assuming assuming you're reckless and you always hit everything, <laughs> and it's a godsend. <laughs> yep. Or you're speedrunning and... Or you just don't care, like I do. Yeah, I said speedrunning, but I'm pretty sure that would only be in a 100% run. <laughs> so, uh, never mind that. But who would even like speedrun this game? I mean, it's, it's a decent game, but... You know, I wouldn't really like want to well, put the effort in to speedrun this game. Well, at least it doesn't seem to be like RNG heavy. Uh, there's so speedrunning. There's speedrunning it is okay. It's just that why would you? There are some elements that are randomly generated though, which I've noticed. Like, before I started this LP, I did some test recordings to see like which recording methods would work best, and when I used um, input recordings, they would end up desyncing, because there's some randomness or RNG involved somewhere. Not really sure where, but yeah. It's a thing. 
I must have overslept. Yeah, you just got invaded by a bunch of monsters. <laughs> I'm wondering if, uh, A, you got poisoned during your party, B, you just got knocked out, or C, you actually slept. Yay, Either two way. presents. Or two extra, uh, money thingies. Money things thingies. To, things to sell. I'll see ya, thanks for the money. <laughs> A lot of monsters coming out of the water that can fly. <laughs> it's kind of like, like flying fish, I guess. Flying fish. Like they can float for a couple of seconds, but then fall down again. I, I, I'm not questioning the whole video game logic thing. It's just that why is it that almost all the monsters can fly up when they're coming out of the water? Well, it's only like, like two, two enemies really. It feels like, like more. Like there's the floating eye thingies and the whatever the hell those are. Are yeah. So Octorox, you can't deflect those, right? Nope. You can just uh, block them with your shield or avoid them. Oh, oh no! What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's such a sneaky one, right there. Oh, yeah. Is this a sneaky one. I yeah, all, all, all the money like likes uh, appear on the ground as well, regular money. But the best way to check if they're like real or not is to just use the grappling hook. Because if you end up hitting actual money, then you just pull it towards you. If you don't, then yeah, you know. Well then. Oh, I thought we were done with that. Nope. Soon enough we will. <laughs> the end is near. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of places you can go with a grappling hook now. It's pretty useful. I mean, it's not really places, it's more like... Extra shit to collect. <laughs> stuff, stuff, more stuff. But hey, now, now that we've got enough gems for, of every kind, we can get every... Um, well, different power. Hmm. So next to the double attack damage thingy, we also have shockwaves, like so classic Zelda style. Oh, you mean like when you have full health? Yeah, except this one always works. Oh, well that's pretty useful, ranged it's, attacks. It's pretty nice, yeah. Uh, the downside is why you don't get to use the double damage thing. Which I actually genuinely think is a downside. Mm. Well, it depends. Maybe there's some enemies that's real, uh, that are really, really annoying, and you just kill them with the uh, shockwave. That would be fine. Not for me personally, anyway. So wait, are we done? No. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh my. There's still more to collect. Yay! More to collect. A collector's dream. Yeah. At least they tried. Mm -hmm. Usually in a game you want to polish it as much as possible, but sometimes you just do it wrong. Yep. Example of this one. There's actually some legitimate slowdown going on right here, but that's not the... Uh, well, that's just the game. Game not being able to render more models. That's normal. Uh, it's it's like the particles they use for the explosion, I guess. I don't know. Gotta be fancy as possible. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like what happens in, in like Ocarina of Time, for example, if you break a lot of pots at the same time. Like, the game starts lagging as well when you uh, do that. I never bothered to try that. Really? Not even, like, the god house in, uh, when you enter Hyrule Town? Yeah, I know what you're, what you're talking about. I never tried. All I did was, like, one at a time. 
Oh, you're so boring. Hey, <laughs> I am so boring, I actually did it one at a time. <laughs> Check out that sweet drawing again. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, whale. <laughs> nice meeting you. I'm sure everyone already forgot about these packs being here. Mm, pretty much sure that uh, nobody would care. Yeah. Somebody do a sketch drawing of that whale. <laughs> Please don't. Please. <laughs> I will probably pay you a title. What? A form title, an avatar. I don't know. <laughs> Don't complain, I already bought you one not long ago. <laughs> so, yep, there's that. There's that. Goodbye, whale. Goodbye. And we'll probably never visit you again. That's sad. Oh. So there's the, there's the backwards N, and then there's the W bar on top of it. Yeah. I'm sure the W is, is a reference to something at least. I'm not sure like what I said. But... Yeah. Maybe it's about a seagull? I don't know. That would be a V. Well, yeah. Maybe. Maybe an M. Either way, this is not really important. Nope. Let's go back to Banan Island. <laughs> We actually just had a uh, banana at Dutch. So, yay! More gems. <laughs> more gems! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nintendo. I needed more gems. My collection desires have not been satisfied yet. Well, one thing at least is that you don't have to collect like 100 or something, like the gold skull to less or something like that. Well, those were at least fun because they were hidden in places and you would actually explore them. But in this one, it's like, well, go there and, you know, just get it. It adds to the uh, treasure hunt aspect of the game, I guess. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted by the little painting uh, in the back. I didn't see that. I have to <laughs> rewind. <laughs> but I can't. Uh, you can watch it afterwards. I'd be too lazy. <laughs> Hey, huh. there's even more on this island. There's even more usefulness for this sword. Eh, it's not really useful. It's kind of oh. hard. It's kind of hard to aim for I me anyway. It doesn't sound like it. Uh. It doesn't show at least. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> Thank you. You really wanted those treasures. Hey, more gems. So why are they always stored in treasure boxes? Because gems are, are worth something, I guess. Got at least 100 rupees. Well, assuming it's out in the open so, like that, wouldn't people just like try... Oh. One thing I, <laughs> I think is uh, kind of silly about this part is that you're supposed to like launch yourself to the, towards this island, but you can just grab onto one of these uh, tablets. That is the dumbest riddle ever. <laughs> oh my god, Nintendo, hey. did you run out of ideas? Hey, read this one. Also, read this one. Oh, by the way, uh, dig in between these chests. Can, can this be considered as filler? Sort of. This is dumb. <laughs> yeah, it is. I just hope there's no more of that kind, because that was really dumb. <laughs> I, mm, I'm i not sure if I can uh, guarantee anything here. Also, who got there? Like, who decided to put these stone tablets on an island? It's, a little it, isle. It's probably the same... Oh, it's probably Salvatore. Like, the minigame guy that's who's sitting there. He just washed up there, and he's like, oh, uh, I'm very bored, and I need to uh, 
I need to play a little game with uh, some of my friends. I don't have any friends, <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this here. What it's gonna kind be a great treasure hunt. What kind of accent is that? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I tried to do some sort of actual French accent, but it didn't work. Aww. Because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and yet yet you I speak, speak French. Yet I speak French. <sighs> That's what happens when you're bored in bored. Born English. <laughs> oh my. Pronunciation troubles in a collection video. Check out that sweet ship in the background. Which one? I'm oh. sure if you can really see it, but there was a ship um well, the pirate ship behind me was uh, oh, like kind of like peeking, peeking into the camera. Is that bomb floating? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See ya. Or treasure map uh, transcends time, obviously. So hey, so there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> so I uh, didn't get carried away like us. Nope. Oh, they don't have a slate thingy. Hmm. Maybe. Anyways, back on the uh, talk about. Actually, not. We didn't really talk about it, but uh, sand in the treasure chest? Yeah. It's sand of time. In the sands of time. Are you playing Prince of Persia now? Yes. What that does is just, uh, it, it gives us more uh, two more minutes on our timer in the Temple of Theos game. Well, speaking of Prince of Persia, I'd like to see like some sort of item that allows like to do parkour. <laughs> Oh, isn't isn't that uh, one called um, like Skyward Sword? Sort of? I have never played that game, and I probably never will. You can kind of like run up walls um, and climb a bit in Skyward Sword. Like I'm talking actual intense parkour. It's an item that allows you to do it. So, uh, something like Rock's Feather, you know. The spinner in Toilet Princess, sort of. <laughs> that's not that's not parkour, but that's actually a cool item. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's the same that they never really used it. Oh well, the boss fight for it was really good. I guess I really enjoyed it. Probably the best in the game. I'm not really sure which uh, one I like the most. Toilet Princess is like the underlook game. The most underrated, actually. I guess, maybe. Well, <laughs> we're talking about that when we're playing this one. <laughs> Dignified ship, of course. It has the tuxedo colors. Yeah, I kind of like that ship board as well. Also, the game doesn't approve of my um, excellent writing skills. As shown by the whale and the sun. Yes. So hey, guess what? More collection? Nope, we're done. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah, woo! No more, right? Yes, yes, totally. Totally? Yes. That, that wasn't sarcastic? <laughs> <laughs> because oh my, th this video dragged on for too long. Yep, and that's even um, after heavily editing it. Sort of. I could have edited it more, but it would probably be kind of jarring to watch. It already was. Well, yeah. So, hey. Long face joke. <laughs> I just really felt like saying it. So, hey, this is what you do with chip parts that you don't need. Just sell it. A lot of money. Mm hmm. Not a lot of anchors. Nope, just one or two, actually. Yeah, what's this? And he keeps saying that, like he's surprised. As a person who buys ship parts, every time he sees a ship part, he's like, what the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> yeah. I'm just kind of checking for like double parts or duplicate parts. I've never seen anything like it. I'm surprised I'll pay you tons of money. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> Oh, that's, uh, that's 
probably the easiest way to get money in this game. Just Where are you going? This path seems familiar. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Oh no. It's uh... <sighs> it's the temple of the ocean king. <laughs> yeah! Yay! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Well, see ya. See ya next time.